Our theme is like Disney characters. Josue Tamarez Torres. Perfect. Rarely loses his smile. I still need to learn the names of those Disney characters. It's a lot of them. He's an optimist. Yeah, a lot of them. And he has to be. Yeah. Because Texas teachers are fleeing the profession in record numbers, and he's leading the group in charge of keeping them in the classroom. We, we might be talking about teachers, but we're really talking about children. Torres is both a fourth grade Dallas ISD teacher at Cesar Chavez Learning Center and the chair of the TEA's Teacher Vacancy Task Force. It was set up this spring when districts across the state closed. Some districts moved to four day weeks. Others, like Richardson ISD, asked parents to fill in as volunteers. We're seeing more people leaving the profession this year than any other year. Stephen Poole talks to as many teachers as anyone. He leads the United Educators Association, which represents teachers in 43 districts across North Texas. They're burned out. And, and that's something school districts in the state's gonna have to address. WFAA obtained records from a dozen districts, big and small across the state and North Texas. On average, retirements and resignations this year were 48% higher than the rate of the previous four years. It is a perfect storm right now, and they're fed up, and they're leaving the professions in droves. Today our topic is... My parents are both educators, my aunts are all educators. Dr. Selena Smith worked for Dallas ISD... And then I have that. ...for 16 years. And then my Teacher of the Year award. A teacher for 11. Let's get into the conversation. Not only were the kids my family, but my, my co-workers and my colleagues were also my family, so it was wonderful. But this year, feeling frustrated she wasn't heard on how to help with learning loss, she quit. When I'm overworked, when I'm undervalued, it was like I have to figure out a way to make an impact inside the system is not working. You will need your highlighter. The TEA's task force has met only once as a full group, but will meet again this month. I accepted this because I think that we can come up with a couple of, of actionable solutions uh, to this issue. When you're ready. Torres wants to focus on retaining first and second year teachers, but pay looms largest. A University of Houston study found pay for teachers with a decade of experience has dropped in the past 10 years. I am worried, and, and, and I'm worried as an educator, uh, as a father. Houston ISD raised salaries by $5,000 this year. It was the only district we looked at that saw retirements and resignations drop in 2022 compared to the four-year average with a 4% decline. But it still has more than 800 openings. On August 1st, Fort Worth ISD had more than 300. Most of our school districts are going to have classrooms without teachers in them, and they're going to have to scramble, and it's going to affect the education of the students greatly. But it's not just money driving teachers away. In the past five years, resignations and retirements were lowest in 2020. How many numbers do I have in a ones place? I see five. When educators were lauded as heroes. You needed us. You know, you needed teachers. You needed the people who were the first responders. When it came to 2021, it was like you forgot the value that we held. Oh, lay out of your mask, baby. Governor hey, Greg Abbott banned districts from requiring masks. There will not be another mask mandate in Texas. Then last year, school staff tested positive for COVID at twice the rate of Texans as a whole. Race theory. And now, LGBT indoctrination. There are debates over how race and sex should be taught. I am very pissed. With teachers criticized for assigning diverse Please, and long established literature. Politicians who are demonizing them, calling them groomers or that they're indoctrinating their students. Most recently and tragically, school safety has been top of mind. School is a place where they find that safety, that that wasn't what we saw in Uvalde. This month, the Texas State Teachers Association found 70% of teachers on the verge of quitting, the highest mark in the 40 years they've done the survey. There are a lot of people where this was their dream job that have left. Smaller suburban districts have seen the fiercest battles over race, library books, and curriculums. I can not believe you. In Carroll ISD, resignations and retirements were up 40% from the previous four years a book about whiteness. It was an identical 40% in Grapevine. You're all monsters. 59% in Keller. You are failing at your job. And Granbury ISD saw a 115% increase in teachers leaving. I'm extremely worried. And if we don't continue to fix the problem, then you're gonna, we're going to continue to have these vacancies and our children are going to suffer. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Vacancies lead to larger classes, meaning less learning for students and more work for burnt out teachers. Tres veces. 
and likely even more vacancies the next year. I'm worried we're in a vicious cycle that's going to continue for a long time. Pool solution is managing class sizes, eliminating new training requirements, and having administrators fill roles. I want to make sure that the students that need it the most put it from the top, have an effective teacher in front of them, and those are the students that are being hurt the most right now. Like here? Every school year starts with anticipation and optimism. Isn't that Moana? <laughs> but there are also always obstacles and fear. She looks a little bit like Moana. Larger classes, fewer teachers, and concerns. The problem will only get worse. I'm frustrated as all get out. Over here. In Dallas. Is that fine? It doesn't have to be this way. I'm William Joy.